Good morning, my name is Michael Hill with the National Weather Service in New Orleans, and here's your severe weather briefing for Sunday morning, December 15, 2019. A cold front will move through the forecast area Monday into Tuesday. Uh, this will bring a uh, round of showers and thunderstorms for the area. And with that being said, a large portion of the forecast area is in an enhanced risk of severe weather on Monday, with the rest of this area in a, in a slight risk of severe weather. And I'll show you that graphic here in a few slides. All modes of severe weather will be possible with damaging winds and tornadoes and hail being the main threats. Right now, the main window for the greatest risk of severe storms looks to be Monday afternoon through Monday night, and it could possibly linger into Tuesday morning. So we take a look at the threat levels for the storm system on Monday. Damage and wind seem to be the greatest threat, followed by hail and tornadoes, and then flash flooding. We are fairly confident in the development of thunderstorms. Uh, still a little bit of uh, questions with timing and the, the uh, coverage of severe storms, but we are definitely you know, fairly confident in seeing thunderstorms in general on Monday. So we look at our severe weather outlook for Monday. Again, like I said, an enhanced uh, risk of severe le uh, weather is in effect for areas mainly uh, along and north of the I-12 corridor and I-10-12 corridor. That includes Baton Rouge, Hammond, uh, western, northwestern parts of St. Tammany Parish. That's the Covington area up there, uh, up into Folsom and all those areas up through there, and Tangebo Parish, all the way up to Macomb including southwest Mississippi. Uh, Biloxi, Slidell, New Orleans, and Homa have a slight risk of severe weather uh, for the area. So when we're looking at our threat levels, we have five threat levels. And on Monday, we will be in the two to three range, depending on where you are in the forecast area. So two is a slight risk. Scattered severe storms are possible. They could be short-lived, not really widespread. Uh, some storms could be kind of intense, but once we start going into the third realm, the enhanced, we expect to see more numerous severe storms. They'll be more persistent and a little bit stronger with a few more intense thunderstorms. So that area, like I was saying, from along the Interstate 12 corridor along the north shore of, the, of Louisiana, northward up into southwestern Mississippi, that includes Macomb, uh, Hammond, Baton Rouge, you guys could see some stronger uh, more sustainable severe weather threats. Uh, we go down to New Orleans and the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Uh, that threat by the time it gets here could be waning uh, and a little bit less uh, widespread severe weather is possible. So um, right now what we're looking at, we're going to take a look at a few uh, models of depiction of what the weather could do on Monday. This is one particular model as we go through the afternoon on Monday. As you can see, Storms really don't get popping until 6 o'clock around the Baton Rouge area, and then they push into the New Orleans area uh, by midnight on Monday night going into Tuesday morning. So this is one depiction. Like I said, we're still having some issues with possibly how much rain could fall, how much, what time is going to start. We're just trying to show you that there are a couple different situations that could unfold. Again, through Tuesday morning, and I mean through Monday morning, we could be dry. Then we get the storms rolled through later on in the afternoon through Monday night. This depiction is another model. As you can see, there will already be, this model depicts scattered showers already ongoing in the morning, a cluster of storms as early as noon across the Baton Rouge area, and widespread thunderstorms developing all throughout the afternoon across southeast Louisiana and southwest Mississippi and the main push of the thunderstorms roll through the New Orleans uh, metro area at 11 p.m. So there's two to, two to three different, there's many different uh, solutions uh, with this, but this will just let you know that there is a good shot of some strong and severe thunderstorms at some point Monday afternoon, beginning Monday afternoon, lasting through Monday night, and possibly into the early hours on Tuesday. We will begin to nail down more of the timing again this afternoon and even into Monday morning as we get more data into the forecast. But like I said, just be weather aware on Monday. We could have some strong to severe storms around as early as noon on Monday and lasting through most of the afternoon and evening hours. 
have multiple ways to get our warnings on Monday. Again, internet, via messages, no weather radio, talk to your family, coworkers, and friends, local TV and radio. Your mobile device is a good source. You, there's text messaging services, social media. Our mobile website, mobile.weather.gov, will help you. The WIA alerts, the wireless emergency alerts, they will be coming through on your phone. So just have multiple ways to receive your warnings on Monday. Uh, it could be a bumpy day across the area, so just stay weather aware. We'll dive back quickly into the forecast. Expect a half an inch to an inch of rainfall. Uh, Area-wide with some locally higher amounts where stronger storms track. Uh, this is uh, rainfall through Tuesday afternoon, evening. Again, rain will be uh, possible up to an inch, mainly some locally higher amounts are possible. So strong to severe storms again on Monday. An enhanced risk of severe weather uh, is in effect for portions of the forecast area. Areas along and north of the I-10-12 corridor have the greatest chances of more uh, persistent severe weather. The best chance for severe weather appears to be Monday afternoon through Monday evening and possibly lingering into Tuesday morning as the cold front moves through. All modes of severe weather are, will be possible, damaging winds, hail, tornadoes being the main threat, and please have a way to get our warnings, go through your safety plans, uh, think about uh, what you would do if you get in a warning situation on Monday. Today is the day to refresh uh, your memory and go back through your severe weather plans. Uh, it's been a while since we've had a, 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 a real threat of severe weather across the area. So have a way to get your warnings on Monday. Go through your plans today. We will have another briefing uh, recorded later on this afternoon. Have a good day.